House passes a bill 236 to 191 funding homeland security but blocking the president's immigration orders. The House also voted earlier to adopt a provision to overturn protections for illegal immigrants who came here as children, something the president announced in a, a couple of years ago that he wants to do. Well, now this thing heads to the Senate, but the president is already getting his veto pen ready. As Republican leaders argue, this bill is about more than stopping a sweeping immigration plan. It's also about curbing executive power. But simply, there is no alternative. There's not a dispute between the parties or even between the branches of our government. This executive overreach is an affront to the rule of law and to the Constitution itself. The bill panders to those in the right wing of the Republican Party who are unhappy with President Obama's executive action on immigration. But they are doing this maliciously and foolishly and needlessly putting our country at risk. Joining us now for a political debate, Joe Trippi, a former Howard Dean campaign manager and a Fox News contributor. Matt Schlapp is also with us, a former White House political director under President George W. Bush. Matt, help us see this as the House sees it or as Republicans see it. They, they see these, uh, these uh, immigration moves by the president as really an abuse of power, as, as kingmaking, if you will. Yeah, they view this as unconstitutional. They view this as executive overreach. The Constitution of the United States does not say, hey, try to get something passed through Congress, and if you fail, Mr. President, go ahead and do it with your, uh, with your pen at your desk. That's not how it works. We have a Republican Congress. We have a liberal Democratic president. They have to work together in order to make these things happen. So what Republicans are doing in the House is they're saying they're putting the president on notice. They're not going to go along with these executive with this executive overreach. They're not going to fund it. And of course, Democrats who have better numbers in the Senate and the president will push back. And that's the way the legislative process works. That's the way an immigration bill should work. You work through your disagreements and you come to an agreement. I hope the president gets with it because there's a lot at stake. Joe, are you or any Democrats that you well, know, are you partic particularly troubled about uh, executive actions on the, parts of the, I, on the part of the president? Well, I, I, look, I don't think uh, this is going to go very far. I mean, uh, Matt's right that it, it might be how you would treat an uh, uh, immigration bill, uh, but this isn't an immigration bill. This is a Homeland Security funding bill. Uh, that was amended. And, and there's no signs at all, by the way, that the president's going to have to use his veto pen because the moderate votes in the Senate, not the, not, I'm talking moderate Republican votes, not, not Democrats, uh, not only Democrats, but there aren't the moderate Demo Republicans uh, to get, the, to get the, the vote to pass there. So this thing is likely to die in the Senate. And then you've got the problem of a Republican Senate and a Republican House have not voted to fund Homeland Security in time in the middle of you know in the wake of uh, the the paris uh, uh, attack and other things that uh, that republicans you know i know want to want to fend against and have homeland security strong so but this has got a long way to play out joe proponents w would tell you that we have you know millions of people in this country who have either walked across the border been trucked across floated across however they got here we have no idea who they are why th that is a matter of homeland security whether it's handled by that department or not well, but if you don't fund Homeland Security, how do you, I mean, it, 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 this is the problem. This is a funding bill that, that, that uh, Republicans who are opposed to the, the administration's immigration policies are trying to use to, to stop his policies. I understand they want to stop his policies, and I do think uh, they've made that point. But, but to take it further and actually not fund Homeland Security, they can't get it passed in the Senate, it would be different if the president actually is forced to veto it. Then he would be uh, the responsible party that, that was responsible for the, for the money not going, the bill not passing. I don't think that's going to happen right now. Right now it looks like it's going to stall in the Senate. All right, well, Matt, you know, from a political point of view, uh, do Republicans get to have it both ways if the more conservative House attaches this language that, that tries to strip out some of these things that the president has done or strip out funding for them, the, then the Senate, even Senate Republicans, if Joe is correct, kicks it back and says, no, you gotta, you gotta do this, you know, a cl give us a clean bill. Then the House Republicans, the House conservatives say, we tried, we right. just couldn't get it past the Senate. Mm -hmm. Look, the first thing is, John, you said it right. 
All this bill does is defund the president's executive overreach. The Department of Homeland Security is funded in this bill. So let's make that clear, first of all. Second of all, this is how the legislative process works. The House puts out there what it would like to see happen. The Senate will put out there what it wants to see happen. The Republicans in the Senate and the House are meeting actually now in Hershey, Pennsylvania to uh, put out their strategy. And, uh, and so eventually we will get this resolved. But Paris, and I think to a certain extent what happened with Sony, has changed things a lot. I mean, look what happened in Paris. Uh, the American people are, have woken up to the idea that we have people living amongst us who are dangerous and that we're returning people back to the battlefield from Gitmo. And these are big questions that are handled in large part by the Department of Homeland Security. We ought to have a big conversation about this because the stakes are massive. Well, you've helped us uh, get, get a, a start on that conversation at any rate. Uh, at any rate, Matt Schlapp, Joe Trippi, thank you both.